Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you my nighttime skincare routine. Such a simplified skincare routine. It's not a lot of products, maybe seven steps. I have makeup on from the day, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off with the Elmes Cleansing Balm. This is a beautiful cleansing balm. I like to just do circular motions on top of my makeup, and this just melts the makeup away. Literally takes off everything and leaves your skin so smooth. And then I'll go in with the cleanser, of course, after. This is such a great cleansing balm. I just literally wipe it all over from eyes, lips, all over the face and then I like to take a towel and just go right over top and wipe it away this one in particular is the erase your face towel it's kind of like a microfiber towel I basically just wet it a little bit with water and then swipe it on your skin and the makeup literally comes off like magic it is so so simple and of course any other towel I use it does the same thing it comes off instantly but this one really gets every single little bit of makeup that's left on your skin and then of course I go in and wet my skin again and then you're gonna see I cleanse it but this takes off a decent amount this past year I switched over from using makeup wipes to a cleansing balm so my skin has appreciated that so so much and it literally takes off everything I cannot stress it enough makeup wipes are just not good for the skin so a cleansing balm is the way to go in my opinion it does not clog the pores keeps the skin feeling and looking really fresh and smooth I don't have any texture bumps like does not do anything funky I absolutely love it so I just keep going and removing it you'll see I get all of that off even from the eyes then going in to cleanse the face, taking the La Roche-Posay Foaming Wash. This is one of my favorite cleansers. It's really soothing on the skin and also keeps it like supple-like and doesn't dry you out. This is also for normal to combo skin, which I do have. So I just really, really love this. It does a beautiful lather. I like to, of course, wet my face a nice amount. I'll be in the sink, of course. But I just lather this all over the face, bringing it down a little bit to the neck as well. And then we just rinse in the sink and we are good to go. I do like my face to be literally sopping wet at this point because I'll go in with two different towels just to kind of sop up any of the excess around the skin and face. And then I go in with a paper towel. So I recently switched over to drying my face with the paper towel just to eliminate any germs and bacteria. And I think it's helped my skin overall with any type of blemishes. I feel like towels can be a little bit too harsh. So I've been doing that and I love it. After cleansing, I'm gonna tone up the skin a little bit. I'm taking the Shiseido cotton pads. These are such great cotton pads. A little pricey, but so, so worth it. Taking the Paula's Choice BHA AHA Exfoliator. I love this toner, you guys. I will start off by saying I like to skin cycle, of course. I don't use every single one of these products every day. My morning and nighttime routine is different, and I like to swap out different products here and there on my skincare whether it's a retinol night or it's exfoliating or a face mask, you know, like different products cycle in and out. Today I'm using the BHA toner. It gives such a beautiful glow to the skin, helps exfoliate like it says, and honestly keeps the skin really smooth. Then I'm gonna go in and just exfoliate my lips. From time to time I like to do this morning and night. This is the Butter London Sugar Scrub. So good, it takes all the dead skin cells away, literally. Really plump, nourished, and gets the blood flowing it is gorgeous so just like to do that and then wipe it away with that cotton round again I'll use a separate one of course so I like to go in with this eye cream from Elmes, which is their pro collagen eye cream and I'll take a pea size amount and use that and distribute it for both of my eyes my ring finger a very gently just patting motions around I also do like the inner eye socket as well on my upper eye area and just kind of follow that around really soothing and also helps with collagen so I love that you don't need an eye cream but I've definitely been using one and these eye patches from Sereni is amazing they basically just go over any type of eye cream that you currently use and it just helps like absorb it into the skin technically I use these in the morning but I wanted to share because they were so sinking cute so the it cosmetics beauty sleep serum is amazing you guys like I've been using this for a bit and when I tell you I love this I apply a generous amount to my skin maybe two pumps and I just blot it all over my skin even down to my neck it is a triple antioxidant serum so it has vitamin c ferlic acid as well as polydatin and it just works while you sleep like that beautiful glow and hydration but also has the benefits with vitamin c like it is just great my skin absolutely drinks it up and so I apply that pretty much every night right now but again do that cycling 
Then for moisturizer, I go in with my favorite moisturizers. And you know, today I couldn't decide, so I mix both. Pharmacy Honey Halo, which is a beautiful, thicker moisturizer, which I will switch on and off with. But today I definitely feel like I needed it. And it just helps with extra hydration. It has ceramides and it feels so supple on the skin. And again, leaves my skin with a beautiful glow. All these products do, and I just bring it down to my neck. Everything I do on my face, I bring down to my neck and decolletage area as well, because that's all connected. Dermalogica Active Moist has been my baby for years. It is super soothing on the skin and so like glowy and hydrating and literally helps with any of my problematic areas on my skin. The gua sha tool, I just like to do a little bit on my chin and jawline, a little bit on my face. This is way better when you're using an oil or if you're doing your serum. I'm just kind of showing you how I go about it, but I would add more serum. I like to do a little facial massage and this whole routine kind of runs me about literally six minutes. And then for my lips, this is key and crucial and this is the Aquaphor Lip Balm. Literally good old Aquaphor. I've been using this for years and it just helps my lips dramatically. And these are also products that I would be using as well on my other days, like when I do skin cycling as well. These are my favorite products. I'm going to leave a list down below as well of my other ones. And also everything you see in this video will be listed and linked for you in the description box like always. I give about like a minute for each product just so it can really absorb into the skin. And like I said, I don't want to use too many products. And this is just my nighttime routine as well. So my morning is completely different. So that is my current nighttime skincare. Super easy. And you do not need 17 products to create that glowing skin, have a healthy skin barrier. Like obviously personal preference and depends on what you need to target. So I wanted to share with you guys like my basic PM skincare. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Found it a little helpful. I'll have everything for you listed and linked in the description box. Absolutely adore how glowy my skin is. It's something I like to go for. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.